So we'll uh, show you how to get the um, the homebrew browser or open shop channel on your Wii slash Wii U. So first of all, you want to get the SD card from your computer from your Wii slash Wii U. So once you got it, I'm using sixteen gigabyte one. You just want to go into your computer and click on and go to oscwii.org. This is safe, completely safe. And then click on download homebrew browser. So now you want to name it. Now you want to save it. So we're going to just, now you want to download it. Should be right there. There's that stupid email message. So now here it is. So put your SD card into your computer. I will open automatically. So now you want to go into the homebrew browser folder in that zip file. Actually, no. So now what you want to do actually is copy is go into the apps folder on your SD card, create it if it doesn't exist. And then copy the entirety of Homebrew Browser to it. And click replace if there's any differences. If there's any the same. So now it should be copied. So let's eject the SD card. And put it back into the Wii U. It's currently in use. Why? Okay. Okay, it's safe to remove. You have to eject it. So now let's put it back into our Wii or Wii U. Turn it on. Switch my input. There it is. So now I'm going to go in the Wii mode and I will see you when I open that. Now turn on your Wii slash Wii U. And go, and if you're on the Wii U, open up the, click on the Wii icon. So now we'll get a stand. That way I can control it to actually record. <laughs> because I don't have a capture card. Damn it. Okay, but you don't want is your thing. Is your stand to be falling all over the place. Now press A on this screen. And if you don't have the homebrew channel already installed, go ahead and follow tutorial. I'll have one link in the description. We'll link you to a different website or thing that I have YouTube. So now click on the homebrew channel and click start. So, this is just my computer monitor using for this. So now you should see it right there. So click on it and click on load. This one, and when I say waiting for network to initialize, it's completely normal. It's just gonna download like a zip file. It's gonna download a zip file for like for the um, icons and images and all that stuff. You can skip it down by holding down the B button, but it's highly recommended that you don't, like it says. Well, it always gives me an error, even on like Dolphin, like when it's done extracting the image files. It will literally just say, uh, can I open this directory? This might take a while, depending on your internet speed or whatever. So you just give me that. Now if you see this screen, it's completely normal. Now here. So now the music isn't loading. That is not normal. Okay, we're going to try to enable the music. Alright, I actually walked on my settings. I oh, you like having the music on and, you know, this. Now, you can download utilities, media, games, emulators, de and demos. So let's download one. Hmm. <clears throat> SNES, Visual Boy Advanced GX. Yeah, let's download that. You have download it will also show you how much space you have left on your SD card it says it on the bottom right corner right there I only have a gigabyte free sadly 
and a fucking DSI exception occurred. That's horrible. Ugh. I hate when these happen. It happened twice today. Ugh. I guess it's time to unplug it. Yeah, that's not meant to happen. I don't know you. Hopefully it doesn't do the monitor again. Nope, it of course went back. Let's go back into the Come on. Load. Okay, here we go. This is CBHC. I like using that custom firmware because it, it boots up it every single time you start. Instead of you having to watch it manually. Use the options to get go to the home route, home channel, or Vwi, or whatever. Say if you say if we use like bricked. So let's just go back to Vwi. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. Like I'm honest. Yes, my monitor has two HDMI's. Pretty awesome. And now it says we. And it, it just is flashing the screen a little bit. Alright, let's do that again. Let's try that again. My battery is getting low. I'll have to stop. Wait. Pretty soon. Yeah, it's at like 15%. Okay, let's try that again. So launch it. I'm gonna skip the download of the zip files since we already did it once. Don't know why that even happened. I just tried to download it. I'm only doing it. Completely black screen of death. Skip it. There we go. I canceled it. Once again, that's completely normal. Just try to download that again. Okay, this is what it should do instead. It should say downloading and then the amount of size it is. This is the size of it. This is the amount of downloads. This is the version. This is the author. This is the date. This is. If it supports an SD card, and this is the description, and this is the name. It should say delete, which you obviously don't want to do, so let's return to the loader. Press the home button to get that menu, by the way. Which, return to the loader is basically just doing that. Just returning to the home channel, and now there it is. It's installed right there. Let's launch it. All the ROMs have to go in there. No, oh, what? There's the root of my SD card. My ROMs folder is right here. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch. I will not link you to get them. So you can easily find them all on Google. Because Google is always a friend. It's most likely on archive.org. Retro games. Let's do some GB. games. So, let's do some Game Boy games. I have all of the. It should work perfectly fine. Let's just load uh, random. There it goes. Emulator on the virtual. What the heck is that? The virtual. Well, I think I have to like play it sideways. What the frick is that? Okay. This simulator allows me to do that. I'm just gonna save the state. Quit, exit. Yeah. You don't need a computer to install Homebrew Channel um, applications after that. You do need a computer to install WADs. To, like, cop to just copy WADs over. For like Wii Mod Line, which I actually do have here. So let's just turn off the Wii. Well, 
you, my case. And 